Now, what if Kevin Rudd uh, is on the back bench? But for how long and why? Why does why will he why will he sit on the back bench? Let's hear a few thoughts on that. I will uh, continue as the federal member for Griffith. I will continue, as I've stated before, with the support of my local community, uh, to continue as the federal member for Griffith into the future and beyond the next election. I think Kevin Rudd today has made it very clear what his vision of his future is as the member for Griffiths. I wouldn't have a clue what Kevin Rudd uh, will do. My guess is that he probably uh, will retire hurt. But retire hurt if he was to do that before the next election? Any prospect of that? No, I don't think so. Um, I'd, I'd be very surprised. I think Kevin Rudd uh, has one ambition, and I think it remains today, and that is to get back into the Prime Minister's office. Um, he, he'll, he'll go to the back bench and he'll sort of lick his wounds for a while, but I think there will come a time when he, you know, his ambition and his anxiety over all these things will bubble up again. It might not happen till after the next election, um, and you know, it depends on the outcome of the election where that then goes. Uh, but I think the worst thing that's happened to Kevin Rudd is the appointment of Bob Carr. Um, mm. you know, Bob Carr is, is a figure who, who cannot be challenged as well. Yeah, it cannot be easily challenged as, as Foreign Minister of Australia. If, say, Stephen Smith uh, was, a, was appointed Foreign Minister, you could see Kevin Rudd trying to assert himself as a, an alternative voice, as he yeah, did true. with Laurie Brereton in the late 90s. Yeah. And the, I think also, I mean, for Kevin Rudd and his supporters, the vindication of their argument that it wasn't them but rather Gillard's own mistakes that were, was causing the party problems to, to date, will, the only way they can prevail in that argument is to sit tight, to not destabilise and to see whether she can, in fact, improve the party standing or whether she keeps making mistakes or whether the party keeps fumbling. Well, on the Bob Carr appointment and uh, Kevin Rudd's response, we'll leave a last word on this to uh, Graeme Richardson. What do you think Kevin Rudd will think of the appointment? Um, like most people, I don't care. It's a tough business, isn't it?